guys. Hi guys, so the next uh, stanza of the song is Does he hear? Does he no? Does he hang his head at all the greed that we possess? Um, he doesn't hang his head, but greed is something he hates. He so wants us. He so wants us to be givers. He created us to be givers. He created us to give. He created us to love. He created us to show forth his glory. He created us to praise him. So he's not, he, do, he doesn't hang his head in shame or embarrassment. But um, greed is certainly something he, he abhors. He despises greed. He wants us to be like him, so he wants us to give. Um, as the anti, as the anti-social media perpetuates the mess, which I love that line because when I think of social media, I'm a big proponent of it, but I think sometimes it makes us antisocial it makes us draw in to ourselves like we can create personas we can create um different um different accounts for ourselves and hide who we really are i think social media is a really good thing i think it's a really good tool but I think we sometimes, we often use it for um, our, ourselves and to make people think how good we are when we are really struggling. Or sometimes we just throw up on social media our grievances with another person and we fight with other people. We tear down other people that we don't even know we bully other people that we don't even know because we just um feel that we can say anything because we're behind the screen and i think um in person communication makes us more vulnerable and i've done videos on vulnerability before and i think that's what social media um, does that's bad. It allows us to hide who we really are, to hide ourselves. And as Alicia says here, perpetuates the mess, like um, perpetuates our messy lives, allows our lives to continue as a mess. Because if we allow everybody else to think of our family as happy and whatever we have no problems we can uh, continue to be messy but when we come out and say um this is a mess i need help i need forgiveness i need i need suggestions I need love, I need a family, that's when true healing can begin. So I think social media can bring people together, but it often, because of the way we use it, we use it tears people apart and uh, perpetuates foolishness and, and greed and selfishness. So 
Yes, I think that it can be used for good, but it's often antisocial, as Alicia so eloquently puts it here. She said, maybe it's a test. Maybe he's obsessed. Okay. Maybe it's a test. Maybe he's upset by the losses and stress. As I said before, God is not perturbed. He, like, because you know, he sees everything. Uh, from the, the end to a beginning. Ta from the end to the beginning. Time is a misnomer for him. We live in time. We live by clocks. We live by calendars. We live by dates. But what, what he sees is a, a never-ending just bevy of eternity eternity uh time is finite it goes and it comes uh eternity is infinite and god lives in eternity so what he sees the reason why he's not perturbed or upset is because he he lives in a realm the spiritual realm has no end and it has no beginning so that's why he's not upset or perturbed at what's going on in the world. He has a plan and it's divine and his plans are, are good. And quite often, even the wicked things that she's talking about here, the mess in the world, the struggle for beauty and everything, oftentimes he's going to use it for our good and um, he it not oftentimes he is going to use it for our good and a lesson because every every circumstance that is awkward or not the way we want it can teach us something if we let it teach us something I I I did a private video for someone the other day and I called it the master class of pain and I said what did you let this circumstance teach you? I think um, pain is useful because it's the best teacher. It doesn't feel so good but when you come out of it it can teach you things and the key with pain is what is this here to teach you? What is this here to teach me, God? And how can I let this pain make me a better person? Um, so, and she says here, maybe it may like the rest of us it happens to be the best of us hope hope through the static you show us what's the charity cause it's hard to find a sliver okay because it's hard to find a, a silver lining through the bittersweet reality. I love that line. What? Okay, this is really powerful. Wonder if you're praying for us. For. For. Before you go to sleep. Do you sleep in peace? Of course, I I tackled that already. He neither slumbers nor sleeps. He's awake. He's aware. 
He's informed about our lives. He's informed about the world. He knows what's going on. He has a plan for it. Um, the next line is, cause we're in some trouble. Mr. Maker, but don't turn away from your screen. At least the bubble that we've created made a darn, has made for darn good TV. I changed the, a word from the swear word to darn. <laughs> um, it says I'm going to I'm going to it says oh Mr. Man upstairs I know you're turning up there way up there would you care to answer my question oh Oh, the la the land of of uh, okay. Oh, the land of our taste. Oh, the spectacle of cut and paste that we have made. What would you say? Please say. It was worth those seven days. And. Uh, and I just, okay, this last stanza, I'm going to just read it because it's beautiful. Oh, don't touch the remote. I'll be back in a moment. We are not hopeless. We are just coping. The rhythm is rolling. But, sh but, but it ain't showbiz. Reality pot reality's potent. Chaotic, I know it. But we're growing. H have have some hope in us. And we're worth all the time you gave us. And it and it says and it says the same thing as the course. It says, Oh, Mr. Man upstairs. I know you're turning up there, way up there. Would you care to answer my question? Oh, the land of taste. The spectacle of cut and paste that we've made. Would you say, please say, it was worth the seven days I just find this song so vulnerable and so um, on point to what non-Christians Christians are feeling towards God and towards the world and it's the silent cry of many people and that's why I'm doing a video to answer answer some of these questions and I hope you you were blessed by my answers. They're not perfect. I don't know any, I don't know everything. Um, I just know that to him it was worth these seven days that he that he took to create the word world. He created it beautiful, and it can, and it can get back to that, and it is that in his eyes, because what we see is a mess. He just sees, he just sees as puzzle puzzle pieces that he's using for his glory, and in the end, we will see the reason for the for the drama, for the trauma, for the sickness, for the pain. 
in the end. But for now, we've just got to trust that he's got it under control. And yes, for him, it was worth these seven days. And for him, we were worth these seven days. And, he, and God is longing to be your God. God is longing to be in relationship with you. Christianity is not a religion. Re religion is a, a list of do's and don'ts and, and it's a set of um, practices for quote unquote spiritual growth. But Christianity is a relationship with Jesus Christ. And a relationship that he's longing to have with every individual person. He's longing to have it with you today. So just reach out and ask him to come into your life and do what only he can do. It's not an easy road being a Christian, but it's the best decision you've made in your life. So God bless you and I'll see you next week. Bye.